Hello there and welcome to Complete Games with me James. Hope you guys are all doing well and I'm back as we continue our City Skylines challenge to reach a population of 100,000. Now previously we've done plenty of city expansion and we shifted our industrial section across the river. We're starting to find that our city is starting to jam up with traffic being that we've only got the one highway bridge coming in and out and as you can see as we fly in over here we are kind of generated a little bit of a traffic jam so we can try and ease some pressure off that that'll be good seems like we've had a bit of a forest fire as well they keep happening I could probably address some stuff to give out free smoke alarms to make that happen less often and I could also update the fire crew to have fire helicopters so that would actually put out the forest fires but my plans today are to try and ease the traffic problems that we've got and I'm going to start by adding some ferry terminals. So in order to relieve some of the pressure off our highway we're going to add some of the ferry terminals. Now this came with the Sunset Harbour DLC and it gives us an alternate way to run traffic. As you can see we've got our train line coming in but it's that highway that's getting jammed up. So perhaps if we add three or four ferry terminals, we're going to give our citizens an alternative route to float between our two cities here. And hopefully that's going to ease some pressure off the bridge. I'd also like to think about adding some metros and bus lanes today. But let's think about putting this down. Okay. So we just come in here and where are we? Ferries. So we have the smaller ferry stop and the larger two-way one and we're going to have to put some pathways on so if we start off with perhaps the larger of the two ferry stops this one here we'll put the pier on put one of them each side and then add some more stops so i was thinking somewhere up here connecting with that road We'll just stay just here as I expect this part of the city to be built up quite well just here and yeah that's okay for now might have this road actually running right along our key eventually but yeah, I can't do much about that corner, so I might keep it actually going straight and along the front. Maybe incorporate a path or something. Okay, let's just have this come up here like so. So now they've got a way in and a way out of our first pier. So yeah, I think I might want to rework that road. It looks a bit, a bit strange how it kind of has the cross section there. But now we need to put another ferry terminal in on the opposite side somewhere so I'm thinking just along here okay so I'm gonna have to delete some of that road and I think I'm happy with it just here okay so that road is quite low down I might be able to work with this if we have some connecting roads this might not look too bad. Okay, yeah, I kind of like that, how that comes down and the top one stays up there. Rework that there. Connect it just here. I think that looks a lot better. It's not as sharp. Okay. Yeah, we'll go with that. Let's connect the power back up. Wonderful. So that's the first of our two piers. And okay, so we need to stick down our ferry deport in order to send ferries out. Yeah, okay. Just connect this road back up. I think that's fine just there. Let's see what the slope looks like. Yeah, it's corrected itself. That's fine. So just like the bus station, you need to put the ferry deport down. 
So we've got somewhere for our fairies to come from. So now we need to create some pathways. You mustn't get these confused with the actual stops. These are not like the bus stops themselves. But we're just going to have, for now, two fairies running back and forth here. And if we connect the depot up to these routes, as soon as we put some stops down, that'll be able to send some ferries out. Okay, so here we go. So with the ferry line, so now we need to connect these up. Stop here, and then that can come all the way back complete the line and we'll do another one running back and forth because it's a double pier and there we go our ferries are just starting to come out now and we've just added another way for our citizens to get from city to city and hopefully even if that only picks up a few hundred passengers that's going to be passengers that would otherwise be using that highway to get across the water and I think we could probably do with adding a couple more ferry stops, maybe one just here and perhaps just over on these rocks as well. Okay, so I've just added two more ferry stops. We've got one on this side and uh, so far I hasn't got any passengers, but it will do. It will do. I've just laid them down, give them time to bed in and one on this side. And hopefully that eases a little bit of pressure far bridge at the moment it's saying it's not served any passengers but I just got to give it some time to start working there is incentives we can offer our citizens in order to use our ferries or things to encourage them to use the ferry but for now we're just gonna have to let it work its thing for a little bit of time so let's stick our biofuel bus station down this one burns slightly cleaner energy and hopefully causes less pollution but it doesn't really matter if you shove it in the city this is where our buses will be dispatched from and just like the ferry depot the bus depot needs to be placed down in order to send buses out in the first place so I'm thinking that perhaps we could add a couple of large bus stations down and perhaps near this stadium here might be an idea just here okay so we've put the large bus station down just next to the university here right next to the train station okay if we just stick this second station down next to the roundabout here that's also right next to the train station so sort of smack bang in the middle of the cities there just getting rid of this commercial we don't want that springing back up around it Give it a little bit of space. But yeah, people can just get off the train. And there's another way to get in and out of the city. Perhaps ease some congestion off our roads. Although I find sometimes if you don't plan your bus routes well, you can end up causing more problems. Okay. So... Let's sort out some stops. So we've got some bus routes sorted out. They're all working, connecting our cities and ferries. But we could also add a metro. And again, this is one of the new pieces from the Sunset Harbour DLC. This is a train into metro station. And I can't fit it next to this highway. But this has a raised metro platform. It's also a train station so perhaps if we was to delete this one here and make that into a combination of the both of them and then we could have like a raised metro coming out of here and people can change they can get the train and then walk across the platform get on the metro sort of get around our city a little bit easier so i'm thinking that's going to face the right way I'll just pause things in order so we don't break everything. Okay, so I think we're going to have to get rid of this and the fire station. And I'm 
hoping the metro faces the back. Let's just delete a little bit of this line. And we'll try this one instead. And we can sort of free place this. It doesn't need to snap to a road. Let's just see what it looks like. Okay. So it's got an avenue running down the middle of it. And a line on either side. One of them being our train line. Okay, so well, let's figure out how we're going to do this because if we bring this avenue down to this junction, we're going to stop our trains getting in. Okay, so let's try this. Bring that round curved up to there like so. This train line just runs underneath it, comes back out here. It should be able to run under that bridge, it can. Let's just try and make this a little bit gentler. There we go. Okay. Fantastic. Now let's get our metro line. Okay, that's a metro station. I'm going to start placing the metro stations down first and I'm going to try and do it off of the corner of avenues. So let's, let's put one there and then we need to connect this all together in a big circle so people can just jump on and off. So there we go, we'll put another metro in next to the shopping mall and it's going to need to turn around. Perhaps here we've got Hawthorne Gardens just about here where we originally built. So perhaps if we just stick one on the corner. I think that was the medical center. We'll put one on the corner there. And perhaps another one near the school. And then we need to connect all of these lines. So this metro line needs to obviously go back underground. And it's just raised, just up, and it comes from underground, just at that train station there. Okay. So we connect all of the stops together. And there we go. Our metro line is complete. And hopefully we'll see that come above the ground. Just at our metro train station interchange. That's going to really help with congestion in the city. Need to replan our train routes, but yeah, I'm kind of happy why that's gone. Just need to keep an eye out. And can we see if the train is actually on the line? I want to see our metro. Don't usually get to see it as it uh, runs under the ground, so... Okay, so whereabouts is it? I just want to check that it's actually working. Oh, here we go. So it's just come into the little underground part there. And it will take a little while for people to start using this. So next stop, oh, there we go, here it comes, just around this corner. You should be able to see it. There we go. It comes up and people can change, get off the train and again, end up walking throughout our city. This is going to really help ease congestion. So I feel that we should have a raised footbridge going over this line and working onto the other side. For anybody who wants to just go straight onto the subway, a second bridge and so sort of perhaps connect it to the corner of this avenue like so. Now I just want to straighten that up a little bit so it comes in on the corner of the road like so. And we'll start putting some detailing down but yeah I'm liking that, I'm liking it. So we've got a bus station, train and metro all in this corner here. Let's stick a few trees round our little raised footbridge. 
hopefully. There we go, some people walking over the bridge right now. Just help cover up some of these train lines. Put some detailing down. Because there usually would be a tree line or some sort of bush line running along here. safe. Okay, I'm happy with how that's turned out. Look at the amount of citizens coming in and out and just walking across the bridge there. It's not interfering with the train, it's quite a busy little corner. And of course our metro here, we've just got on the corners. This is helping people to get around, so we're getting a lot more people walking. And that's taken a lot of traffic away. Still, things, they are moving when they get into town. But, again, it's still the only highway connection, so it's not totally solved our problem. Perhaps, I think, adding a metro on this side as well, just as we've done, might really help out. So, we've got this elevated metro station. So, we could put, like, um one perhaps here and that would run along perfectly next to that path we could get rid of some of these buildings and again we'll sort of sink the line on either side I think we've got enough space to do it just to send it under that pathway Buildings are going to have to go. Let's just put that down there. Yep, that fits in fine. We can continue. Now we need to add some more stations going around this city. Put some metro stops just outside the zoo. So again, people can just walk around, especially in the touristy part and up near our university. Okay. So, I think things have eased off a lot more. It's not perfect, but it's a lot better. It was better than that before. But traffic is moving and we've taken a lot of pressure off. Still getting these forest fires. Again, that's part of the Natural Disasters DLC and unless I put the helicopters on, we're still gonna get these forest fires, but everything does grow back. So, population-wise, hasn't really moved that much today. We're at 42,000, but I think the academic year report there. But I think before we add any more citizens, and we've got a healthy demand for everything we needed to get on top of our transport. Our metro is working really well. Again, I can see less traffic coming in on here. And I think this really, really has helped off and eased a lot of pressure off it. So hopefully this starts disappearing. And of course, when we open up some more of the map, we'll be able to have another bridge going out or something else to connect our city to the highway rather than just this one way in or out. And that's the challenge of the Sunset Harbour map, I feel, with this. Having all of the bridges, but... I'm really happy with how this turned out, especially this section. Everybody's loving that footbridge that we've put going over the top of the railway there. Really like that. And our ferry terminals. Again, it says no passengers last week, but a few of them have had passengers. I don't think they're coming back this way. The, this one here certainly had some visitors, so I see the bus has just brought some people in there. We got 146 last week and 101 people used it this week. So that is slowly helping take pressure off our highway bridge. But that's going to be all we've got time for in this week's episode of Complete City Skylines. Don't forget to subscribe if you're new here and you're enjoying the Skylines content from myself. But until next time, I'm James from Complete Games and I'll see ya. I know we're acting stupid.